you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman, a channel of satire, comedy, and entertainment, basically a channel of me just calling it the way I see it. If you like what you see in here, be sure to click the like button, maybe subscribe. And if not, be sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you didn't like. That way I can take your comment and make a funny video about what you said. Let's get right into it. Today's subject is the song Undivided by Tim McGraw and Tyler Hubbard. Now I am not a fan of this song whatsoever, so let's get into it and I'll tell you why. Okay, so the first verse goes like this. You see, Billy got picked on at school for things he couldn't change. He tried his best to play it cool, but in the seventh grade, you either fit right in or you don't fit. That's just the cold, hard truth. I wish that I'd been the friend Billy never knew. It starts off pretty good. Nobody likes bullying. No one likes being bullied. I was bullied. Um, you know, bullying nowadays is a little bit different than it was when I was young. When I was young, they weren't bringing knives and guns to school and doing drive-by shootings. So the first part's not, you know, not that bad. Now we start heading south. The second, actually this is the chorus. I think it's time to come together. You and I can make a change. Maybe we can make a difference, make the world a better place. Look around and love somebody. We've been hateful long enough. Let the good Lord reunite us till this country that we love's undivided. Okay, well, let's dissect this part a little bit. This needs a little bit deeper observation. First of all, I think it's time we come together. I do too, Mr. McGraw. Let me ask you a question. Who are you, who are you singing this to? Are you singing this song to Black Lives Matter? Are you singing this song to Antifa? Are you singing this song to liberal socialists who want to make me a socialist? I don't think so. See, I know exactly who you're singing it to. You and I can make a change. Maybe we can make a difference. Make the world a better place. Yeah, I'd like to make the world a better place, but it's not going to happen. This is a pipe dream. This is so people will sing the song and be like, oh, we need to make the world a better place. You know, that's like Miss Congeniality, the movie, and all the beauty contestants saying, I want world peace. Yeah, it's a good thought, but it's not going to happen. Look around and love somebody. We've been hateful long enough. Who's that directed to, Mr. McGraw? Me? You're saying I've been hateful long enough? Well, we're going to see later on in the lyrics, that's exactly who you're talking to. You're talking to me, Mr. White Christian Man, and I don't appreciate it. Till this country that we love is undivided. Now, Mr. McGraw, have you ever read the Bible at all? Have you ever read this verse right here? Basically, it says that Jesus didn't come to unite. He came to divide. Maybe you should read that instead of singing these songs. Now, I know you didn't write the song, but you agreed to sing it. Maybe you need to think about what's really going on and who this should be sung to. Because it's not me. It's not me at all. Let's look at the second verse. You either go to, and this one starts to really get under me. As you can see, these are Bible verses. This really starts to get under my skin. This is how I take notes. I was a cop for 20 years. Other cops will tell you this is the best notepad you have. Here's the, here's the second verse. You either go to church or you're going to go to hell. Get a job or you're going to go to jail. I just kind of wish we didn't think like that. Why is it got to be all white or all black? And when we go and learn to try on someone's shoes sometimes... When we going to start to see from someone else's eyes? I think it's time to come together. You and I can make a change into the uh, course. So let's dissect this. You either go to church or you're going to go to hell. Hey, Mr. McGraw, Mr. Hubbard, who is that directed to? It ain't directed to sinners because sinners don't say that. It's not the Satanists. They don't say that either. You are talking to Christians. You are telling Christians, stop telling people 
about church. First of all, church does not save you. This verse right here, that tells you how to be saved. That's the gospel. Without this verse, church means nothing. God does not take attendance. Church does not save you. You're talking to Christians. You're telling us to shut up so we can stop being divided. We want to be unified. But we already saw previously in the, in the verse I showed you earlier, Jesus didn't come to unify anything. You know who wants to unify? One world government. The one world church. The devil. He wants us all to come together because that way he can rule all of us. Now, you may not be a Bible believer, Mr. McGraw. I don't know you. You might. Maybe you should look up who the uniter is of this world. Because we already learned from that verse, Jesus didn't come here to unite. He came here to save. You're talking about Christians, telling us to shut up, and that's not going to happen. We're not going to be able to unite unless Christians stop telling people how to be saved. Second line, get a, get a job and work or you're going to go to jail. Who is that directed to, Mr. Hubbard, Mr. McGraw? Could it be that this line right here is directed to the people who work hard to buy a ticket to go to your concert? You're telling people who think you should work for a living. If you are able body, you should work for a living. Once again, if you read your Bible, you'll notice this verse right here. You don't work, you don't eat. If you're able to body, I'm not for anyone who needs some help helping them, but you got people sitting around who will live off of my taxes that are already too high. And so my family does without, so they can sit around. And no doubt some of those people can save their money to buy a ticket to your concert. Not everybody. I'm not an all-or-nothing kind of person except about who the Savior is and how you get to heaven. Now, this verse right here, I just kind of wish we didn't think like that. Why has it got to be all white or all black? Yeah, I agree. Were you singing that to Black Lives Matter? Hey, Black Lives Matter, why has it got to be all white or all black? Tim, you sing the song. Did you not look at the verses when you sang it? Why has it got to be all white or all black? You know what? I have, I have nothing to hide, okay? There is not a racist bone in my body. But you know where there are some racist bones? Black Lives Matter, Antifa, the Democratic Party, socialists. You see it all the time. It's not called racism, but that's what it is. See, if you look at life through race-colored glasses, everything is about race, you are a racist. It is a telltale sign. You can't argue that point. If you see everything through race-colored glasses, you're a racist. I'm sorry. Now, really, I think we're using racist way too much. This is really we're talking about prejudiced, okay? People are prejudiced. There is a difference in racism and being prejudiced, okay? Look it up. I don't have time to share it. When are we going to start seeing from someone else's eyes? Um, I'm sorry, let's go back. And when are we going to learn to try on uh, someone else's shoes? When are we going to see it through someone else's eyes? Mr. McGraw, you are singing this song to the wrong people. You are telling white Christian working people they need to stop being white, stop working or telling people to work, and stop being Christian because we have to tell people of Christ that we are obligated. So what you want me to do, what this song says you want me to do, is you want me to take my values and throw them away and accept the values of Black Lives Matter, Antifa, uh, Satanists, or agnostics, or atheists. That's what you want me to do in order that we can unite Oh, Mr. Alabama Woodsman, if you'll just stop talking about Jesus, if you'll just stop telling people to work, 
and, it, and I know you can't stop being white, but just stop acting white. Maybe, maybe give some of your money to someone who isn't white. If you'll do that, Mr. Alabama Woodsman, we can unite. That's just like all the new apostolic reformation churches. We got to unite. We need to come together. No, I am not giving up what I believe just to be united. Because that's what happens. The Christians, in order to be united, they give up. And you call it compromise. You know what there, Mr. McGraw, work. You, you work for a living too, don't you? And you get paid very well because guess what? You're worth it. You set your price. And if people can't afford to come to the concert or don't want to spend that money, they don't come. Welcome to capitalism. Capitalism has worked very well for you. And a lot of Democrats and a lot of so-called socialists. Capitalism works very good. Because you know who survives best in socialism? People who are already at the top in capitalism. Then when there's the Reformation, the middle class and the lower class end up starving and doing all the working. And the upper class financially just sit back and watch it all. Because they don't give up their freedoms. They can buy their freedoms. Loopholes, keep your mansion, all that. We're not all stupid, Mr. McGraw. Not all of us. I think what I'm about to do, I've not been a cancel culture person, but I am now. You have made me a cancel culture person. Normally I say, let, the, uh, let capitalism solve this. Let the market solve this problem. And that's fine. Most of the time it can happen, but not now. You have turned me, Mr. McGraw. And let me tell you something. This song plays on my local station in central Alabama on WZZK 104.7. WZZK 104.7, except for the Rick and Bubba show. If this song comes on, I will turn the channel. And all your sponsors can just do without their commercials falling into these ears until the next day when Rick and Bubba sign on. I'll listen to Rick and Bubba, and the minute this song starts up, I'm changing the channel. There are plenty stations in central Alabama that I can listen to instead of this. You can bet on it. It ain't gonna happen. I am not giving up my morals. I am not giving up the principles that made America great. Hard work, dedication, God, family, country. That's the way it should be. And I'm not giving that up. And I obviously can't stop being white. That's just, that can't happen either. But see, they're going to make millions of dollars on this song. And under capitalism, hey, you go for it. But you're also alienating a bunch of people who don't just like the hook. They actually listen to the words you're saying. I'm not doing it, Mr. McGraw. That's the way I see it. That's all I got, folks. Thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman. Be sure to leave a comment, and I hope to see you again soon.